Okay guys, we're back out here at Cary, North Carolina at Bomb Park on Field One. Me and Chad are getting ready to put some swings on the new short porch drip Johnny Dyke signature bat. Uh, supposed to be a little different. Supposed to be have a little bit of different tech on it. Um, like I said, we're going to go warm up a little bit and see what she's all about. We're going to test it before we do that. And hey guys, at the end of the video, we'll let you know what we uh, think of it. What do you think of the end load so far? It's a nice one. We'll see if they did you right again, Johnny. All right, let's go. Okay guys, we are going to test the short porch drip. Alrighty. It's like 15, 25 I would say. 15, 25 is like 235. Well, let's say 1500, it's dropping down now. 1500 is like 230 guys, 230. Yep. I just missed that one, Bo. Jesus Christ. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Ain't nothing on me. That's a gap, though, man. Okay guys, so just to give you a little bit of information about the short porch drip Johnny Dykes bat. Um, first things first, they come in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28. It's got a 12 and a half inch barrel with a half ounce end load. Um, these are gonna be a little bit different than the previous Johnny Dykes version that came out, the, the blue, baby blue, the bomb, you guys remember we reviewed. Um, I don't remember if you guys remember, but they started out around 240, 250 on the compression, and they took a lot of swings to break down. If you go back and watch that video, you'll see how much it took uh, those to break down a little bit more. So what these are different, they're gonna start around 225, 230, break down faster, the composite will break down a little bit more faster. And there's a little bit different balance point in the hands and it feels a little bit lighter than say the previous Johnny Dykes or the, the, the previous DeBomb bat. Um, so, and this is a new tech and let's show you the up close look at this pretty cool paint job here. Definitely bright, still got the same knob here. But yeah, man, and you've, I've already showed you the ink out, but this is a different uh, paint job, but these are supposed to break in much faster. So let's get back to the review. Coming off good. It is. Ah, motherfucker. They don't look good on camera. I ain't swing hard, dude. I know. <laughs> Damn. God bless America. This was your idea. I know. Not mine. I know. Not mine, ladies and gentlemen. His idea. Dude. One more. All right, guys, we're gonna scale the short porch drip. It's a 26 ounce we have. This is 25.2 ounces overall. In load 16.4. An 8-2 on the hands, and that's with the factory grip. Per 
Like I said earlier, guys, we're out there in Cary, North Carolina at Bond Park on Field 1. It's like 310 down the left field line, 305, 304 in the center and right. Guys, it was a humid 70 degrees that day, and we were using our Evil BP Rockets, our Short Porch Pro M's, and our Short Porch uh, Freedom Balls. Guys, I'll have discount codes down below for these with the links to where you can purchase these at. So let's get back to the review. All right, guys, we're going to do the oh, testing on the short porch drip. So it is basically 1400. 1400 is right over, right around two, 207. Yep, 207 on my tester with 120 swings. All right, guys, we just finished up swinging the uh, short porch drip Johnny Dyke signature bat. Um, probably got maybe, I don't know, 120 swings on it so far. Um, what do you think of it, Chad? Uh, barrel's stiff, but I like a stiff barrel. It does loosen up. Uh, really no flex. I, I want to say it's a touch better than hit the first Johnny Dyke's bat. It it's a good bat. I hit the middle really well with it. I was struggling today. But the middle, I was able to hit it really well. Um, overall, I, I really like this bat. I really like the Brandon Murray Brat. Yeah. I really like that one, and this is right there with it. So, uh, again, another winner from Short Porch in my behalf. Yeah, uh, to, fo to echo uh, the follow what Chad was saying, basically, um, I do feel like it's a little bit, kind of reminds you of the wig popper, but a little bit stiffer barrel. Um, the loading, the weighting on this, definitely not. A, I haven't scaled it yet. I have, I'll, I'll show the scaling in the video, but um, we're here at the field. But it's uh, not a lot of hand weight. It's got a nice butt, easy to drive. There's a touch of flex in here, like wig palper flex, but not nothing because me and Chad hate flex bats. But um, the ball jumps off this thing, and um, it almost reminds you a little bit of the wig popper, but not as stiff, not as uh, soft as it. But the how the ball just shoots up. Like, uh, like when you hit a line drive sometimes, yeah, but when the ball jumps off the barrel of this thing, um, we both like it. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can pick these up at Smash It Sports or Short Porch, and I'll put uh, my discount codes for both of these. But, um, guys, this is a winner. I think this is Johnny Dykes. This is definitely breaks in faster than the previous Johnny Dykes. Uh, but, yeah, we like it. I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it.